Hey, Chris, what's the RSS reader you've been reading articles off of uh, for YouTube videos? Fresh RSS is what I use. It's self-hosted in a Docker container. And then I pull or steal all the content from all the like Verge or wherever am I grabbing stuff uh, directly through, I think it's Five Fingers. It's another Docker container I have that goes and queries the RSS one, follows the link to the actual article, pulls down the article, any relevant pictures in it, and then grabs everything. So I never have to actually visit their site because Lord knows it's just full of garbage anyways. So I can just easily flip through and go, hmm, that sounds interesting and just get all my news of the day. And then like, let's say there's something good that I'm like, hey, that might be good for a stream. I can just click stars, throw it in my favorites. And then whenever I'm done with the stream, everything's in my favorites. And then I'll actually do a link back to the actual website to give them credit for when I have the thing on my YouTube and say, here's my source for the article I'm referencing in this video. It's a really great way of getting your news fast, calling the whole internet, grabbing everything that you need in minutes to where you could, you know, a lot of people get stuck on certain sites and that's not good. I hate platforms. That's why I love RSS. Oh, and I've done several videos about this. I highly encourage everybody to set it up. It will change your life. And like, you can even do YouTube feeds too. A lot of my YouTube gets, it's pretty much garbage these days. So I usually just toss a couple people that I follow in here and then say, Hey, what's the latest and greatest? Like Jeff Gearling just did a great video on Raspberry Pi 5. I need to go watch that. So instead of getting on YouTube, I'll just come here, click it and just grab it all in one go. So I, I love that. Uh, so even just watching YouTube can be really nice from here. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's about it. And that's really what I use. I highly recommend uh, more, more people browse the internet this way, just using RSS, uh, as it just makes it so much easier to kind of go through and you can make your own category. So if you only want Linux content, typically that's just like Tech Mint, Phronix, and Linux Journal, I think. I don't think I have anybody else in there. Oh, Slashdot has a Linux thing. Oh, Stallman has cancer. Dang, okay. Um, yeah, all right. But as you see, I can get and absorb just ridiculous amounts of information so, so darn fast. The power of RSS.